What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to give you some tips to improve your general experience in FL Studio. Let's get right into it. First tip, sometimes you might be wondering why you can't zoom in, move, or cut stuff more precisely. This is controlled by a setting called PPQ. You can find it under Options in the Project tab. A higher setting allows you to zoom in, move, and cut more precisely, but it costs more CPU. Be aware this is a per project setting, it's not for FL Studio as a whole. It's okay to raise this thing mid project, but don't bring it down afterwards, else you will lose the very precise placement of your audio and your clips forever. Second tip is for my people wondering why the frames per second will never go above 65 and FL looks kind of choppy on your higher refresh rate. Try enabling send master sync in the MIDI settings. If you want to see more tips like this in the future, make sure to drop a sub on the channel in order to stay updated. Cheers guys, let's get back into it. Third tip is a bit similar. If you're using a plugin and you realize the image is not smooth at all, it's looking choppy. This is especially true when using Serum in FL Studio. Try this. The wrapper, this thing in the middle, troubleshooting, fast idle, and we are looking so smooth, boys. Save this as your new generator, else you'll have to do this every single time. The fourth tip is to start using Smart Disable. If you're having troubles with your CPU load, this is especially important. What Smart Disable does is when a plugin is not processing audio, it doesn't use CPU. So what you do is you open up the plugin and you activate it under this drop down menu, Smart Disable, or there's a macro to enable it for all your plugins, which is what I use Switch Smart Disable for all plugins. Some plugins, such as Melodyne, really don't like Smart Disable, it messes everything up. So, in order to prevent this, go under the wrapper, processing, and you will uncheck Allow Smart Disable. Save this as your new effect plugin, and you'll be good to go. The fifth tip also has to do with CPU usage. Go under Options, Audio Settings, and when you're not recording, push your buffer length as high as possible. This will help your CPU so much. If you're like me, when you're recording, you don't need to hear your vocals being processed by plugins. So you can just leave this thing as high as possible all the time, even when you're recording. Just use the direct output on your audio interface to hear your vocals, and that won't use any CPU. The sixth tip is for the people that have had FL Studio crash on them, not me. So you'll go under Options, File tab, Auto Save, Regularly. Just put that at five minutes. FL Studio projects are super small, and this will allow you to have a backup every five minutes. If it crashes, you go back under File, Revert to Last Backup, and you're good to go. The seventh tip start linking playlist tracks to mixer tracks. Right click the playlist track track mode, audio track, select the one you want, for example, number five. Now when I change the name, it changes at both places. If I change the color, it changes at both places. So it's just much more convenient to use. The final tip for today is the auto name clips feature. Right click your playlist track and hit the C key on your keyboard. And now all the clips on that playlist track are auto colored and auto named to match it. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you learned something, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. This helps me out a lot. Have a good day, man. Bye.